a very warm welcome to the NCRT series of VIA certification. As we undertake this chapter of Haloalkanes and Haloreens, you would find that not just are we solving the plain NCRT questions, we are also giving you very very useful insights about basic deep concepts, conceptual gaps will be filled and we would try to convey to the level best possible a very wholesome holistic solution to the questions presented in NCRT. So there we begin. Name the following halides according to the IUPAC system and classify them as alkyl, allyl, benzyl, primary, secondary, tertiary, vinyl or aryl halides. Oh, very interesting. Now, how do you classify them? I'll just quickly revise the theory for you. Primary, secondary or tertiary means that they are attached. The halides are attached to primary carbon, secondary carbon or tertiary carbon. Which carbon is primary carbon? A carbon atom which is attached to only one other carbon atom other than itself only one carbon atom that is called primary carbon. If apart from itself that carbon is attached to, attached to two other carbon atoms then it is called secondary, three other carbon atoms, tertiary carbon atom. Hydrogens attached to such carbon atoms are called you know primary, secondary or tertiary hydrogens and halides attached to such carbons are also called primary, secondary or tertiary halides. Like if you just take a look at this one, the very first one, what do we have? We have CH3, hold twice, CH, CH, CH3 and Cl. This is number one. Can you see that this chlorine is attached to this carbon and this carbon is attached to one and two, two other carbon atoms. This is a secondary carbon atom, so chloride also is a secondary chloride. And if you have doubts about this, look at this bond line notation. We have drawn the bond line notation. This carbon is attached to this and this two other carbon atoms. So this is a secondary halide. Yes, indeed. What about the second one? Let's take a look. We have, this. don't be confused by the C2H5, no. This Cl is attached to this CH and this CH is attached to, well, uh, one and one two other carbon atoms. This is one carbon and this is second carbon which are directly attached to this carbon. No, no, we are confused. I will draw it full for you. CH3, CH2, CH. CH3, CH2, CH. Then we have CH3 on one side and then we have CH and then we have Cl and we also have C2H5 in bracket which comes on this side. Oh, wow. This is the carbon we are talking about? Yes, this is the carbon we are talking about and this happens to be 1 and 2. Two carbon atoms attached to our target carbon atom, yes. So this is also secondary carbon atom, yes indeed. Actually a hint is if I have CH, CH, this typically CH represents secondary, yes it does provided there are no double or triple bonds, indeed. What about this one? Instead of chloride, now I have an iodide and this is CH2I. CH2 group is classical primary, indeed it is primary. I mean it is just CH2I, like this. Clear cut case of a primary halide. What about the last one or no, the fourth one? It is, now this Br is attached to not C6H5 but CH. Wow, it is CH, CH means secondary. Mm, yeah, but let's see, there might be slight variation. Let's take a look. There is some special advantage to this CH. I'll just draw fourth up here. This is CH3 whole thrice C. CH3 whole thrice, CH3, CH3, CH3 whole thrice C. Fine. And then we have CH2, CH. And I have CH2, CH. And then I have C6H5. Oh, wow. I have C6H5 like this. And then I have a BR here fascinating. Since this beer is attached to CH, is this secondary? Yes, it is secondary. At the same time, it is not just only secondary, there is a special status attached to that. And what is that? If you have a carbon which is just adjacent to, what, what, what? I'm, still, I'm saying something very important, listen with great care. If you have carbon atom which is just adjacent to a benzene ring, this carbon is called benzylic. This carbon is called benzylic. So this halogen also is called benzylic halide. Wow! 
and it was mentioned, right? It is benzylic, yes, indeed. So, this is secondary and benzyl. So, fourth is not just secondary, it is at the same time benzylic. Can it be secondary and benzylic together? It very well can be, yes, indeed. Fifth, well, we have CH3, CH, CH3, CH, Br, CH3. Again, you notice that notorious CH and there is no benzene around. It has to be secondary. It has to be secondary. It is secondary. Very much secondary. If you are confused, let me draw CH3, CH, CH3. Then CH, Br and CH3. This is the way it, the bond line notation is. And if you notice this Br, this carbon is secondary. It is very much secondary. And we now are knowing, discovering the trick also. CH2, Br classical primary yes it is i'll just draw the bond line notation in case you're interested ch3 carbon carbon is c2h5 hold twice c2h5 hold twice ch2 br so this carbon is primary because it is attached to only one more carbon atom yes indeed it is primary so if i have ch2x it is primary if i have you know something something then chx it is secondary and if there is no hydrogen attached to that carbon carbon is only one halogen and then alkyl, 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 whatever, then it should be tertiary? Yes, indeed. Oh my God, there are more. Yes, there are more. What did you think? That we would not uh, have any tertiary or something? Let us take a look. Now, I have CH3, CCl, C2H5, C2H, CH2, CH3. Now, this Cl is attached to a carbon which has no hydrogens. So, this is very likely tertiary, yes. And if you are confused, let me draw the bond line notation for you. Seventh one, I will draw on top, CH3, C. Then I have Cl, yes. Then I have C2H5. And then I have CH2, CH3, like this. Classic. This carbon is attached to one, two and three other carbon atoms. This is a tertiary carbon, yes. And the halogen attached to tertiary carbon is a tertiary halide. Yes, very much indeed. It is a tertiary halide. What about uh, eighth one? Let's take a look. You have CH3, CH double bond, C. CH3, CH double bond, C. Oh my God. Then you have Cl. Then you have CH2, CH, CH3, CH3 like this. Oh wow. Now this is a carbon which is attached to two other carbon atoms. So can I say this is secondary? No, no, no. If that carbon has a double bond, then it is called vinylic carbon. Both these carbons, which are vinylic, this is a new term, I am confused. I am just saying it again for you, don't worry. Don't jump up so much. Na? Both these carbons, they are called vinylic carbons. Hydrogens attached to these carbons are vinylic hydrogens. And halides attached are called vinyl halides. Vinyl. This is a vinyl halide. Which one? And vinyls are not classified as primary, secondary or tertiary. Primary, secondary and tertiary is reserved only for sp3 hybrid carbon. The moment you have C double bond C etc. Then you no longer call it primary, secondary or tertiary. Is that fine? Fine. What about allyl alone? They will come, don't worry. Let us take a look at this ninth one. CH3, CH double bond CH, then I have something else. Oh my God. Let me draw ninth for you. It is CH3, CH double bond CH, then you have carbon, then you have a Br, and then you have CH3 and CH3. Oh wow, like this? Yes. Now this looks like tertiary. It very much is tertiary. But there is some additional angle to it. Actually, it is tertiary, yes, indeed, but not just tertiary. Just see. This is tertiary, yes. Also, if you see these carbons are, they are vinylic, vinylic carbon, like this, right? And the immediate neighbors of vinylic are called allylic. What, what, is a new term? Yes, it's a new term. So, immediate neighbors are this. So, this carbon is allylic carbon and this carbon also is allylic carbon. Whenever there is a double bond, the carbon atoms which are forming the double bond are vinylic and their immediate neighbor 
their immediate neighboring carbon atoms are allylic carbons. Beautiful. So this is tertiary you said? Yes. But this is allylic you are saying? Yes. What is this? Tertiary or allylic? It is both. It is tertiary as well as allylic. Wow. Like benzylic and something? Yes. This is tertiary plus allylic. Okay. That's nice. That's very nice indeed. Do we have more things? Of course we have more. We have 10th, 11th and 12th. We have para chloro C6, H4, CH2, CH, CH3, hold twice. Oh my God, what is that? Let us take a look. What is that? We need some clean space. I'll just erase a few solutions so that we have the clean space. So I'm drawing 10th here. It is, let me start with this. We have CH2, CH, CH3, hold twice. And then I have C6, H4. This is C6H4 and para Cl. Oh my God. On, this is para position. Exactly opposite is para position. So I have para chloro, blah, 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 whatever. Which kind of halide it is? Now, since halogen is directly attached to an aromatic ring, it is an aryl halide. Wow. So this is aryl? Yes, this is aryl. Right? So, whenever a halide is attached to the aromatic ring, it is called an aryl halide. Okay, what about 11th? <coughs> Metachloro, now you have CH2. Fine. And C6H4. Okay. So, I have this. And I have apparently CH2, Cl. So I have Cl, I have CH2, I have C6H4, that much I have drawn. On meta position, I have CH2. On meta position, I have CH2. Then I have carbon. And I have CH3, 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 like this. Oh, wow. This is the compound? Yes, this is the compound. 11th. And which location is this? Neighboring to benzene ring. Please note, 6 carbons or benzene ring are all phenylic carbons or aryl groups. You can see. And this is benzylic. And this is primary because it is attached to only one other carbon atom. It is primary and benzylic. So what is 11th? It is primary and benzylic. Fascinating. And the last one, ortho bromo C6H4, my, my, my. What is this? Let us start making it. Well, let me make a benzene ring and then they say ortho bromo. So on ortho position I have, I have drawn bromo, I have drawn C6H4. This is C6H4 because two hydrogens are taken away. Now I have CH, this is C, I have then methyl, I have CH2, CH3 like this. Okay. But this halogen is attached directly to benzene ring. Is it primary, secondary or tertiary? No, in such cases we don't say primary, secondary or tertiary. We simply say that this is aryl halide. Wow. So 12th is aryl? Yes, 12th is aryl halide.